gosh. All right. Let's get started with this now. Oops. My fingers are in the wrong position to move around. Okay. Where are we going to search now? Okay. So it's not in the f f f f physics club. F physics club. So let's look in the art room, I guess. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. Following the map is really hard. <laughs> okay. So, are you here? Right now we must search search for the missing bodies. We can talk later. Okay. Oh, oops. That's not what I clicked on. Oh, I got a dollar. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's just head in here and see if it's locked. Who locked the door? It wasn't locked a second ago. Alright, that's weird. Okay, let's look somewhere else then. How about the rec room? Where Thelith was. Are there bodies in here? Doesn't appear to be. And... How about stuffed in this locker? Stuff Yamina's entire body in that locker. Do it and you win a million dollars. Okay, so that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go into these classrooms. I'm bored. Okay. Oh, equals three. That's copyright. Oh, okay, they found me. What are you standing around looking stupid for? To the art room now. They were in the art room the whole time? I was just there! How did I not find it? Was there something I missed, or is, or is that uh, forced to be? Is this cutscene supposed to happen? Not cutscene, but that little particular conversation. Like, I'm talking on a programming level here. Two corpses are here. Talk to me, buddy. So, where are the two bodies hidden? Are they in this room? I just checked and it was locked. Oh, now it's open. What's going on? There they are. Both the bodies are in this room. Oh, gosh. Togami's face was scary right there. <laughs> Two corpses that had disappeared. The suffocating scent of blood that permeated the room. Shouted from the rooftops, this is the undeniable truth. And for the second time that day, we heard that ominous announcement. Oh. They're... Now they're doing the thing again? Oh, did everybody just not find... I'm so confused. Okay, there's probably some thing that it, it, makes, it makes sense. Dead on. Wow. Okay, give us a file. Long and hard, so you're good and ready for the class trial. See you later, alligator. <laughs> all right. Okay, this is dumb. We found the bodies. All that's left is find the culprit. You wait just a second. How can you be so so relaxed? They're both dead. They're not coming back. You're a terrible person. Well, I mean, I'm relaxed too, in a way. I think I'm just tired, actually. I probably shouldn't have recorded this early, but now it's too late. <laughs> okay, she lifted Yamada's motionless head and cradled it in her arms. Poor guy. Who would do this? Why would... If this were a fairy tale, this is the part where Yamada would open his eyes. However, this is no fairy tale. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that clicking, but I don't know if she's touching a thing. Oh, gosh! What? Is he alive now? Whoa! What? 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 What?
Wait a minute. <laughs> what? This isn't some old love story. All the tears in the world couldn't even revive a goldfish. You truly are a heartless, insensitive, cold-blooded bastard. I pray at least your lungs still function. Frankly, I'm pissed off. What the hell right does he have to come back from the dead just to say something like that? Thanks to him, the whole damn game's been ruined. He said Ak and Yasuhiro, I guess. Hagakure, Yasuhiro Hagakure. He couldn't have meant anything else. Well, that pretty much settles it. Is that really the answer? Right off the bat? In any case, I suppose it's about time to begin this life or death game of guess who. Though this round looks like it'll be a clean sweep, so much for a life and death game. Investigation. No, we still have a long way to go. This is weird. Like, I don't know what was weirder. Like, this or those f three episodes of Madoka Magica I watched this morning. <laughs> oh, gosh. I I have, I have no idea. I can't really choose. But anyway. Let's, let's, let's get started, I guess. Victims Hifumi Yamada Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Both died as a result of blunt force trauma to the head. Is everybody going to die of blunt force trauma to the head? Except for the first one. She was stabbed. It appears they were killed with similar weapons. That's it? That is really little information. The person who has yet to show herself. Oh, Kiri of course. While she does indeed have an alibi for the times Yamada and Celeste were attacked, it's not possible she was operating as an accessory to the corporate. There is no benefit of that, as Monokuma is probably coming to remind us. I just came all the way out here just to answer your questions. You were talking about there being an accomplice. I'm pretty sure I already explained it to you. Ah yes, it was during the first class trial. There go, there's a 0% profit margin for any and all accomplice behavior. The one true villain. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Sorry. Wait. I'm trying to think about <laughs> what Monokuma meant by all that stuff that he said. And I don't really care. I mean, I know Genocide Show didn't do it. Like, why would she? In any case, what about securing the seed? I'm worried about the bodies being taken again. Not okay, now we can do some running around. Yeah, something tells me it's not quite that simple either. Okay. Alright, so this is really, really weird. I mean, there's no gain from having an accomplice, but that does not stop anyone from actually having one. 
Also, Kirigiri and Hagakure are still nowhere to be found. I still think that maybe Hagakure murdered both of these two guys, but, like, there's somebody else who planned it all out. And that could be anybody. But I might be completely wrong. I... I don't know. Should I just look at these two? I have no idea what to do now. It's Ishimaru, he's completely still. According to the Monokuma file... Yep, one force counter that. Okay, just hammer number four was a murder weapon. Also, a vinyl sheet has been spread out underneath Ishimaru's corpse. Oh, oh. Ugh, freaking wrong keys. Oh. Okay, well that one didn't get a blue vinyl sheet. So big in fact that I wonder how the culprit ever managed to move him. I mean, his body was found in the infirmary on the first floor, and this is the third floor. Who knows? Nope, nothing's coming to me. Anyway, I'll hold off on thinking about that until later and focus on, on examining his body for now. Wait, what is wrong? Something about when I saw his body in the infirmary and the body I'm looking at now. His glasses? Oh, but now his glasses are clean. That's weird. That is weird. I don't know. I get the feeling that that was used to transport corpses, but I don't know how they'd be able to do it incredibly quick, quickly and also up and down stairs, unless there's an elevator I don't know about, which that's totally possible. Uh, there's only one way out of this room. The door does indeed lock, but it looks like it can only be set from inside the storage room. Oh yeah, it was locked earlier. Oh wait, do I have to actually... Wait, is there anything more I can click on that will help me? Oh, maybe this. Maybe this will be beneficial. This hammer appears to be wet, and it's the only one that's not dirty. Does that mean someone washed it? Okay, I'm glad I did that then. So, Gami, what's, what's going on, pal? So, do you think Hagakure really is the culprit? I can't think of anyone else who could be. Every one of us has an alibi for the murders and the disappearance of the corpses. And then there's Yamada's dying words. Yasukiro, right? Somebody. Not just that, he tried to say Ak or something. Two, it all points to Yasukiro Hagakure. And even if Hagakure did do it, why would he try to hide himself by wearing that bizarre costume? I'm sure he just thought that as long as he hid his figure he wouldn't be found out. He's a degenerate and a fool. Well, Hagakure is kind of a doof, but can you really just pack everything up in a little box labeled doofus and call it a day? I feel like there's a big hint hidden in there somewhere. Is that everything? Nothing else stands out to you? No, there's more that I can't figure out, like why the culprit hid the bodies. Maybe he thought if we couldn't find the corpses that we couldn't hold an investigation, and yet despite that we had almost no trouble finding them. That too could only be because the culprit's an imbecile. Is that really good enough? There's one more thing that stuck out to me. Why did the culprit commit two murders? I mean, according to the rules, if you commit murder without getting caught, you graduate. In which case, I think the culprit would, first and foremost, want to ensure no one else found out. By committing two murders, do you leave that much more evidence behind? Wait, perhaps. I see, so that's what this is. We are not friends, and don't you forget it. What, where is this coming from? You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, it looks like I'll be able to squeeze a little fun out of this game. Wait! Would've been nice if you told me, too. Yeah, a little bit. Alright, I guess I can leave now. Oh, maybe not. Where's the door? How do I leave? Do I have to click on something else? Should I talk to you two again? Did I not already? A number of things occurred during this incident. No, perhaps better to say a great deal of things. There is value in revisiting past events. You might recall something you overlooked. Shall I help you go over it once more? 
Uh, actually, sure. Kobe's over here, hey? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to... Sorry. Don't mean to yawn every five minutes. But anyway, looking back at it like that, it strikes me just how much happened in so short a time. Should you ever wish to go over things again, let me know if you have my cooperation. Okay, cool. Thank you, Sakura. You're very nice. Uh, uh, hey, Naegi. Actually, something's been bugging me about the storage room. You know how after Yavada's and Ishimaru's bodies appeared, we all split up to go look. I was scared, so I went along with Sakura. After everyone split up, we went straight to this art room to look around. But at that time, the storage room door was locked and we couldn't get in. That was also what I was confused about. We came straight here when the search started, so there's no way anyone got here before us. But then who locked the door, you know? Plus, it's open now, so... You're right, that is perplexing. The door was locked just after we started searching for the bodies, and it's unlocked now. There's got to be something to that. Maybe I can figure something out once I get out of this room. That's... That's insane. This is too- this is an overload. This is an overload right now. I'm not ready for this. Like, oh, there's so much to think back on. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be, like, really, really hard at the <laughs> class trial. Like, if we get as little evidence as we got, uh, last time. Loaded storage room door into- okay. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Take final conclusions there. Alright, let's- let's- let's, uh, uh, the infirmary and the physics prep room where Yamada and Ishimaru were found. Okay, let's go there then. Oops. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to click on you. I meant to hit the other button and leave. Is there anything else we can No, I don't think in here there's anything. Oh, okay. I should have gone straight to map. And oops, that's wrong button. And okay, there we go. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Okay, physics prep room. Let's just head straight there since we're right here. Uh, where is it? This way. Okay. Uh. Okay, just making sure Kirigiri wasn't hiding back there. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh wait, the prep room, not not this lab. The prep room. Oh gosh. One thing I meant to say about the music in this game is this track. It's really good. Like, listen to the percussion. Like, I'm a percussion guy for the most, mo mo for the most part. And this is like something insane that like somebody would have to sit here for hours and hours to try to get perfect. And I could, I've always wanted to become a composer because of this kind of thing. And yeah, it's really insane. Oh, tire tracks. 
A trolley in the art room storage room. That's right. I have blood on the tires. Got a little blood on the tires. I don't remember any more lyrics to that song. And also it's mud on the tires, not blood on the tires. But it rhymes, so I'm good. Oh yeah, the trolley was used for Ishimaru's body, but how did Yamuna get up there? Wait, maybe if Yamada was, like, still alive at the... Like, since Yamada was still alive at that moment where Asahina cried on him, then maybe he moved himself up there. Wait, did I click on this hammer already? Okay, what about you? While the culprit was hard at work moving the bodies, I was busy going Betty by. It brings me to tears knowing I missed such an extremely rare sight. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I feel like I've seen one of these vinyl sheets before. Yeah, it's, it's up. Oh. It was the one up there. Okay, I guess that didn't matter. Anything else? I feel like this investigation is going to be pretty short. Like, I don't know... I don't know why, what else we could do aside from the last place I'm supposed to go, which I don't remember where that is. Uh, it's the first floor, I think. Okay, let's head to the next exclamation point. In infirm infirmary. Wait, infirmary, infirmary, infirmary! Ryan, pay attention! Pay attention, goddamn you! Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I I wish I didn't record this early in the morning. I am too tired, but it's too late to go back. I'm really... Tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow will be better, I promise. Okay, Celeste, what's going on here? What are you investigating, Celeste? I wouldn't go so far as to call it an investigation. Hagakuri must be hiding somewhere, so I'm searching for it. Hmm. And if I may return your question, what are you investigating? Hmm, I'm mostly just looking around, checking all sorts of things out. But what's really on my mind right now is how the Cobra managed to move Yamada's body. I still think Yamada moved himself upstairs. <coughs> okay. So... <laughs> Um, let's just click on more things. Get as much information as we can. The corpse was moved, but the murder weapon was left untouched. Oh, okay. I said the exact same thing about that upstairs. What's behind you? Oh, is this pointless infirmary stuff that has nothing to do with the murder? Oh, there's something in the trash. It's a glasses cloth. Oh, good. I'm glad I clicked on things in here then. There's some sort of... It's an anime glass. Yeah, that is so much more evidence that Yamada was able to move himself upstairs after the trauma, and I guess he just died by loss of bleeding? But that doesn't make any sense. Because... Wait, that does make sense. But it doesn't make sense, because the Monokuma file said he died of blunt force trauma to the head. He didn't say he died of loss of bleeding. But that would explain why they only did one corpse discovery announcement at when they went when we discovered the two corpses at the same time but in two different groups. They were only announcing it for Ishimaru and Yamada was not yet dead. That makes so much sense. I, I'm the winner. I win this investigation. But there's still the fact that the Monokuma file is incorrect or something like that. I don't know, this, these are just guesses at this point, but I'm having a good time thinking I'm right about things. Is there blood on this chair? I can't tell, <laughs> but I don't think- I, I can't click on it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so security camera over there. A mini fridge over here. Oh, it is a fridge. Okay, I thought it was something that wasn't actually a fridge. Maybe it's a tense atmosphere, but I'm, I'm parched and one pig isn't gonna hurt. Oh. Seeing as I'm not a vampire, last I checked, this isn't going to do much for my thirst. 
Oh, cool, dollar. Hey, Celeste, you want to drink some of this blood? I know you're a vampire. Oh, gosh. That's really stupid. Okay, is there anything else in here? Nope, we're done. Is that out? All right, where to now? So this is where you were, Nike. I've been looking for you. I thought I'd give you my thanks for earlier. Even though it wasn't intentional, thanks to you, this game has gotten a whole lot more interesting. Go to Hagakure's room. Also take this. With this, everything falls into place. This is a trap. <laughs> he's just making things more interesting for me. Instead of making things easier, he's being a douche and making things take longer for no reason. But, I suppose that's okay. For the effect. So I guess there's something there. Okay, cool. Maybe it's him himself that is there. Okay, am I anywhere near the dorm area. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna teleport there. No, not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Yeah, this is what I want. Yeah, I just go here. The exclamation point. Bam. There you are. The door's unlocked. Looks like I can go inside. Okay. Oh wow, this place is really decorated. Everywhere I look, there's stuff I can't make heads nor tails of. Where on earth did he get all this? And still, the man himself is nowhere to be found. So he really can't complain about having his room investigated without permission, right? I suppose. Uh, let's just click on stuff, I guess. Blueprints of some sort. Oh, that's just this robo! Oh, it has the name Justice Robo on it. How did Yamada know the name of Justice Robo? There's got to be something to that. Oh gosh, this is just this just became even more scary. <laughs> um Alright, what else is there? The bed, the shower. Okay, the bed and the shower. Quietly stuck my head in the shower. There's nothing in here except a really big mess. How the heck do you make a shower so dirty? Alright, is this all I need to do in here now? I suppose it is. Alright, let's head on out. Hey, we've got trouble. Big trouble. What's wrong? We found Kirigiri. <gasps> Let's go see her. Justice Robo showed up, too. Yeah, and Hagakure is, in fact, inside the costume. Uh, to the pool. Okay. 